My Resources is your own personal library of documents that you create in Schoology or download from other sites. It's easy to organize, create, and copy or move your resources right from the My Resources page. By saving your documents in this personal library, you'll be able to access them for years to come and use them in any other courses that you might take in the future that are based in Schoology. Collections are like containers that store folders and files in your resources, and they help you to organize your work. They're located in the left menu of your personal resources. In order to add a collection, select the Resources drop-down from the top menu. Click on Personal Resources. Then you're going to click the Add Collection icon, which is the gray box with a green and white plus sign. You need to title your new collection and then click Create in order to finish. There's a drop-down menu located next to the collection icon that allows you to reorder your collections. Click on the arrow that appears next to the collection and drag that collection to the desired location. Of course, don't forget to save. The drop-down menu that appears when you hover over a collection, excluding the home, allows you to rename and delete the collection. You need to remember that deletion of a collection cannot be undone, so do make sure that when you click delete, that's actually what you want to do. Now in order to add resources, what you're going to do is from the resources page, click on the collection that you'd like to add resources to. Or you could simply add them to your home collection. Next, click the Add Resources button located at the very top of the page. Select the type of resource you would like to add. It can be a folder, it can be a file, or it can be a link. There's a gear icon to the right of every single resource. That gear icon allows you to edit, move, copy, or even delete a resource. Edit gives you the option to allow you to change the title of your resource. Copy to allows you to copy and paste the resource into another location in your resources. Move to allows you to cut and paste the resource into another location in your resources. And then finally delete is the option that allows you to delete the resource from your stack of resources. And once again, this action can't be undone. Now one thing to note, the options to copy to, move to, and delete are also located in the edit button that appears after you check a box next to a resource in a collection. So selecting multiple check boxes allow you to be able to do this to a number of different resources at the same time. You'll find even more tools to organize your resources within the Options drop-down menu at the top center of the page. Some options are only available for your collections, while other options are available after clicking into a particular folder. These options allow you to do a number of different things. So first is to reorder. You can change the order of your folders, files, and links. All you have to do is click on the arrow that appears next to the resource and drag it to your desired location. Of course, you need to remember to click the Submit button, otherwise everything will go back to the way it originally was. Auto-arrange is another option. Schoology will automatically arrange your items for you. Now you need to note that this option arranges all the resources in a collection, so the checked boxes don't apply in this case. Next, you can rename a collection and this option allows you to change the name of the collection that you are dealing with or delete a collection. And of course, this option allows you to delete your collection. And once again, it cannot be undone. So if that's what you're doing, make sure that deleting is actually what you want to do. There are also the option for resource apps. 
And these resource apps integrate third-party content, so things like Khan Academy, Google Drive, or even Dropbox, directly into your resource center. So this means that all of your personal, shared, public, and external resources can all be consolidated into one place. If you're accessing the resource apps area for the first time, you might see a button to install apps. So you'll need to do that first of all. Then you will select the option to install the resource of your choice. And by going through that process, that is how you can get the resource apps and have access to them. That's all, folks.